Six years ago, the Bay Area thought it had a missing child's case on its hands, only to later discover a dark and disturbing truth. Right now, convicted killer Granville Ritchie is sitting on death row for the rape and murder of nine-year-old Felicia Williams back in 2014. But Ritchie says he doesn't belong there. He claims prosecutors broke the law, and now he's appealing his death sentence to the state Supreme Court. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez monitored the hearing today and shows us the evidence justices are weighing. Man-sized hands that placed around the throat of this little nine-year-old girl. Prosecutor Scott Harmon's passionate arguments for death to the jury in the Granville Ritchie case are now under the microscope. The Florida Supreme Court microscope. Ritchie, who was convicted of killing and raping nine-year-old Felicia Williams and sent to death row by the jury, is now appealing his death sentence. His attorney claims Harmon inflamed the jury in his closing arguments and violated what's known as the golden rule law. A suggestion made to the jury that it placed itself in the victim or defendant's position. That improper argument encourages the jury to focus on personal interests and biases instead of the evidence. The justices had a lot of questions. Because what he said was, can you imagine the dread of knowing that your life is ending and you're feeling pain all over your body and then he describes that in, in fairly graphic detail. And then he said, and that pain would have been greater for a little girl. So I'm trying to figure out how that's not a golden rule violation. It's at the very best a cl close call. The attorney representing the state conceded. Harmon went up to the line but didn't cross it. Rick Buckwalter pointed out Harmon was describing the heinous nature of the crime and made an off-the-cuff statement. Richie's attorney pounced. There is no way that is true. Mr. Harmon is a veteran prosecutor, has been prosecuting homicides for 20 years. He wrote out this argument. He gave it to colleagues, I guarantee you, and tested it. This was deliberate. All right. Now the justices will have to decide if that's true. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. The justices did not rule today, but if Richie wins his appeal, he'll be granted a new sentencing trial, and that will determine whether he gets life in prison or death.